from San Francisco and Jerry uh, thanks for joining us before we get into the documentary though I do want to get your take uh, real quick on the passing uh, Willie McCovey I know you met him a couple of times uh, your thoughts when you heard the news I was really sad devastated by it. you know Willie uh, I met him several times and what a great individual you know we talking about a guy that had over a thousand five hundred fifty five uh, run uh, RBIs uh, 1,229 runs, uh, 2,211 hits, and they used to call him Stretch, you know, because of his length. And it just being around him, you know, there was this air about him, and it's something I'll never forget. You know, Jerry, I've met you a few times. I don't know if you remember, but you've always been very nice. You kind of had that McCubby feeling. You make everyone feel welcome. You're very friendly. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, I also want to congratulate you on being in this documentary. There's some pretty heavy hitters on this list of this movie that you're in. <laughs> yes, it is. In Search of Greatness, uh, Wayne Gretzky, uh, Pelé. We got footage of us, uh, Serena Williams, Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan. And, you know, just to be uh, thought of in, in that area, being around those guys, even, you know, like a Wayne Gretzky, it means the world to me, and, uh, and I'm really uh, very appreciative. Jerry, you're being modest. You are the greatest wide receiver to ever play the game. Even, <laughs> even people from other teams, people who don't like the 49ers, uh, will always admit that to me when we're talking sports. And what's it like to be considered the greatest? Well, I, I never really thought of myself as being the greatest. Uh, it was always something that I, you know, I think it was that fear of failure that kept pushing me. And, you know, for people to say that, you know, it's awesome. But, you know, I was one of those guys that felt like I was not the most gifted athlete. I had to work and I had to earn everything. And, uh, but, you know, with my teammates, they were able, I was able to do some great things on the football field and really put up outstanding numbers. Jerry, watching you growing up here, I mean, you always had that great separation from the defensive backs. I mean, if you had to put, pick one thing, what was it that separated you really from every other wide receiver or every other player in the National Football League? Well, I think it's just what Wayne Gretzky said. You know, he was not the fastest, and I was not the fastest. And I remember coming into the league, Dwight Clark, the way he ran his routes. And I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to emul emulate uh, Dwight Clark. Uh, getting separation where the quarterback could uh, throw the footballs. So I just watched him real closely. He taught me how to be a professional on the football field and off the football field. So it was all about my work ethic and just getting separation. You know, when I look at a guy like Tom Brady, you know, he's picked 199th, right, in the draft. I mean, I keep thinking, what if he got picked 198th and he doesn't have Bill Belichick there with him for his career? And kind of about you, I mean, what if the Chiefs picked you ahead of the 49ers? You don't have Bill Walsh. I mean, how much of it do you think is it the coach in the player's life? You know, I, I, first of all, I think it's the players buying into the system. Then you have to be that leader where you uh, lead other guys to uh, be exceptional on the football field. And we had that with the San Francisco 49ers. You look at Tom Brady, what he's doing uh, with the New England Patriots right now, him and Bill Belichick. Uh, you know, everybody them bought in and they work together as a team. So. Uh, if you don't have that teamwork, you're not going to have success on the football field. And we were very fortunate to have that here in San Francisco. Jerry, I know you've done some TV work. Uh, Mike and I are both TV guys. Uh, can you suggest something that would bring us to the Jerry Rice level of greatness in professional broadcasting? Go ahead, Jerry. I want to hear it. I think it's just the work ethic and believing in yourself and, and trusting yourself and having fun. and. The same thing that I did in football, you know, football was not work for me. It was something that I enjoyed doing, so I poured my heart into it. And it, it's the same thing with broadcasting. Uh, you just got to be yourself, be real, and uh, just call it uh, as it is. Call it as it is, Sal. I like okay, that. Hey, I let's like talk that. about tonight's game real quick. I mean, we've got <laughs> the 49ers. We've got the Raiders. They're not having the greatest seasons out there. Uh, what do you expect will take place at Levi's tonight, Jerry? Well, you got one team one and six, and the other team is one and seven. But still, we have a game uh, that you have to play because it's a battle of the bay. No matter what, you got the Raiders, you got the Niners, and we don't like each other. It, it's never been that way. So, you know, I remember a, a Monday night game. I think I broke Jim Brown's record on that Monday night. It was uh, against the Oakland Raiders. So I'm expecting both of these teams to come out and play hard and, and try to get that victory.
Well, I remember a Monday night game involving you with the Vikings in 95. You Me had a phenomenal too. Game Me too. too. <laughs> Jerry, thanks very much. We appreciate your time. Hey, thanks for having me.